Hey everyone, welcome back to QuantProf. Today we are going to solve a Hudson River trading interview problem. Check the description for more quant interview resources. Let's look at the problem. There is a 100 by 100 grid. Mario is located in the bottom left square of the grid, while a monster is located in the bottom right square. Every minute, Mario and the monster both simultaneously move to a neighboring square randomly, and diagonally connected squares are not considered neighbors. For example, in the first minute, Mario has an equal probability of moving either up or to the right. It cannot move to a diagonally connected square, as it is not considered a neighbor. Similarly, if Mario was in this square, he could move to any of the four neighboring squares with equal probability. So in the first minute, Mario could move to the right, and the monster could move up. Then in the second minute, Mario could move up, and the monster could move to the left, and so on. If Mario and the monster land on the same square, Mario dies. So, if the game lasts for a thousand minutes, what is the probability that Mario will survive? Pause the video here if you want to give it a try. Let's color the grid in a chessboard pattern, alternating between black and white squares. Note that since the grid is 100 by 100, Mario and the monster will be on squares of different colors initially. So, in this coloring, Mario occupies a white square while the monster is on a black square. In the first minute, no matter which direction Mario moves, he will land on a black square. Meanwhile, the monster will move to a white square. Similarly, in the second minute, Mario will move to a white square, regardless of direction, while the monster will move to a black square. This alternating pattern ensures that that Mario and the monster will always occupy squares of different colors, meaning they can never end up on the same square. Hence, the probability that Mario will survive is 1. Let's consider another problem. Now we have a 4 cross 4 grid. Mario starts in the bottom left corner, while the monster is positioned in the top right corner. Each minute, Mario moves either one unit to the right or one unit up with equal probability. Meanwhile, the monster moves either one unit to the left or one unit down with equal probability. If they land on the same point, Mario dies. For example, Mario and the monster might move as follows. In this case, Mario survives. On the other hand, if they move in this manner, Mario will die. So, what is the probability that Mario will survive? Try to solve this on your own. Hope you liked the video. If you want to learn how to solve these kinds of interview problems, we invite you to check out our course Quant Interview Masterclass, where we teach you how to think when solving difficult problems. We also cover the entire theory, specifically tailored for quant interviews, along with over a thousand problems. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Until then, Godspeed.